In this particular video, I'm going to speak to how to manage the header on any given particular page. Um, this is once again in my sample site and I've gone to sites.google.com. I've logged in and I am at the new Google site. Um, check out earlier videos if you're not sure how to get there. The first thing I want to do is I want to take a look at my uh, navigation settings. Now this particular setting over here is set to where I've got my menu laying horizontally across the top. If I come over to my gear, I can choose a side navigation or a top navigation. Currently it's top. If I click on side navigation, notice here that the top navigation went away and that my left hand side now becomes my menu. I'm going to go ahead and publish that and then I'm going to preview it keeping in mind that that's going to open in another browser and here it is over here on the left hand side. Um, notice here that here are my nested pages which is pretty cool in terms of uh, being able to do that. Notice also here that in terms of Google site the background out of the editor space here, this background space is not viewable. So don't worry about what color that is. You don't um, actually apply a color to that. Once again, to change that navigation, all I did is clicked on, on the gear over here and I can change it between um, the, uh, the left and the right hand side. Okay, so now the next thing I wanna do is I wanna talk about adding a logo. Adding a logo only adds a little teeny tiny icon up here in the upper left. I'm going to go ahead and do that though. Click on add logo. I can certainly upload a logo if I wanted to, but I'm going to click on select and um, I can go to my Google Drive. I can go to shared with me. I can um, search here. Let's do... Um, Gosh, I'm at a. I'm going to do life because the word life is there. Uh, I'm kind of at a, at a uh, mystery there. I'm just choosing a particular image here. I'm going to click on that. Now, what's really cool about Google is that it is automatically asking me what kind of uh, background do I want to put this on. Notice that it's happening up here, and notice that I am automatically being directed to use the logo color for the theme. And that's going to automatically change up my um, logo, um, excuse me, my theme color over here. So that's kind of uh, cool. We'll talk about themes in another uh, tutorial. I'm just going to continue here in terms of headings. Um, I'm going to actually pop back to pages here because what I want to show you is that that heading, or excuse me, that that logo piece does cascade throughout each of these. I can um, get to get rid of that logo, I'm gonna click on edit logo, and then right next to the image, I can go ahead and hit my trash can, and that takes that away. So now let's talk about the header itself. I can go ahead and add a different image up here, um, and I can also play with the header type. Let me talk about playing um, with the header type first. I can choose title only, which kind of compresses the thing and only gives me my title. I can do a banner, and that's going to um, give me this background area with an image. And I can do a large banner, and that's going to make a larger space um, for this. I would suggest to you that if you're going to use the large banner, you only use this on your main page, and that perhaps for your sub pages, you use a banner or a title only. Let me go ahead and pop over to, again, keeping in mind that what I've got here is my large banner. If I go over to my sub page, notice that I've got just a regular banner. I can go to title only. And if I'm going to do that, I recommend strongly that you be consistent. So if you're going to put just a title only on your sub pages, or if you're going to do a banner only on your sub pages, Whatever you choose to do, because this becomes part of your navigation visual structure, do it consistently. I'm going to go back to my page one, and I'm going to play with this option to change the image. I can upload an image, um, or I can select an image. Now, um, in the gallery, 
Google has given me a whole bunch of images and that's what I'm going to do for my sample here. I'm just going to simply click on um, a sample image and click on select and there it is. And this is my page one and notice that for my sub page two or excuse me, my sub page 1.1, it did not change that banner. Um, again, I'm a fan of being consistent. So if I'm going to change uh, an image to um, something on my main page, you might consider doing that on your secondary pages. You might consider going to a color on your secondary pages. But that also um, ties into what your color scheme is going to be. So therefore, I'm going to go ahead and um, deal with color schemes next. Uh, but before I do that, also note that I can go ahead and click on reset and I can come back here and I can click on reset and that will take me back to my beginning and whatever I choose to do, of course, I'm going to click on publish once I am done. So in the next video, I'm going to uh, take a look at some other attributes that I can play with here. See you in a few.